For Connecticut's 5th Congressional District is tight. It's between incumbent re Representative Johanna Hayes and Republican challenger, former state senator, George Logan. All right, to break down the details of where things stand right now, we're joined by Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Marcy Jones, who's live in Waterbury. Good morning, Marcy. What's going on? Good morning. Well, as you two know, every vote counts, and that's exactly why with a margin this small, the Associated Press is saying that Hayes has a 4,200 vote lead over Logan. They absolutely cannot claim victory just yet. Now, it really is no surprise that this is happening in one of Connecticut's most politically balanced districts. During her campaign, Hayes, a Democrat gunning for her third term, has put an emphasis on helping pass the American Rescue Plan. Logan, on the other hand, says that what Hayes has been doing in her previous terms is not enough and that he wants more to get done and it's time for Republicans to snatch that seat. Both have heavily prioritized the topics of inflation and abortion, where Hayes says that she would codify Roe v. Wade, while Logan says that the decision should ultimately be left up to the individual states. Now, at this time, both candidates remain optimistic. It's not going to be by a landslide, I told you, right? It's going to be by the shortest of margins. We are looking good. We have not gotten all the results, so it's way too early to declare victory. But I'll just say, no, let me, let me just say to you, the rumors of my demise have been greatly exaggerated. <laughs> Well, I hope you woke up with your patience this morning because we will definitely have to wait for all of those votes to be counted. As soon as we get any more information, we'll bring that to you online, on our app, and on air. Reporting live in Waterbury, Marcy Jones, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.